my name's Chris. I came down from Aberdeen today. I'm a Unite Young Members activist. I've been in Unite for around about a year now. I've been involved with the uh, Sports Direct campaign, first of all, the offshore campaigns out of Aberdeen, and now the hospitality campaign with my company Whitbread uh, Premier in. So really what we do in the service sector is try and unionise it and organise it because young people like myself are getting a pretty raw deal just now and again. Here we chat to Jeremy and see what he, what he thinks about it and what he's going to try and do for us. With the offshore stuff, really what we're doing, because I'm in the service sector, I work in hospitality, so without the sector there and the jobs there, our jobs are directly under threat without the people coming through and going offshore. Essentially what's happened with a lot of the boys, their contracts have been cut with their real term pay anywhere between 15 and 30%, where the companies like Wood Group are recording record profit. So it's been kind of the last sort of nail in the coffin for the guys for industrial action. So and they're, they're holding out and we're doing our bit in the beach with picketing as well because the way we see it, our jobs are tied in. So I mean, what would be your position with the future of the oil industry in Aberdeen? There has to be investment in uh, renewables, there has to be a recognition of the very valuable and very high quality skills that have been built up in Aberdeen since the 70s and um, develop into renewable technologies as well because the technology in generation, the technology in pipe construction, pumps and so on is actually transferable. Oh, yeah. Lots of other things. It doesn't have to be oil, it can be lots of other things. Another thing I was like to ask you as well with tying into Aberdeen, obviously it's a very mixed crowd where there has been money and investment from people who work offshore but there's still a lot of working class communities. What would you do to increase access to that training and skill set and further development for people from more deprived backgrounds? <coughs> the whole access to education is often skewed. It's often skewed at university level to the students of more middle class families and because of the cuts in college education uh, it means that a lot of young people are getting no access to college education therefore they're not going to ever get into university. What I want is a number of things. One is across the whole of the UK a return of the education maintenance allowance to encourage youngsters to stay on at school or college and do the, in the case of Scotland, the hires or in England and Wales A levels. Uh, that is important and also make the universities affordable uh, through a grant system and an end to the fees system which applies in, in England. Th those things are important, but it's also about encouraging people to ensure that if they go into an apprenticeship, it is good quality, it's not a source of cheap underpaid labour, and it is a qualification at the end of it. Some apprenticeships across the UK are absolutely brilliant. When you think of um, Jaguar Land Rover, yeah. you think of Ford Engines, you think yeah, of Rolls Royce, BAE, excellent. And then you look at others, are just appalling. Yeah. They're really nothing more it's than cheap labour. It that the companies draw more from government subsidy than they yeah. put into providing That's a right. job and the skills. And so that they I want provide. tough and a very effective monitoring of all uh, apprenticeships. So ensure that young people are properly trained to come out of it with something coming good. Smashing. Thank you nice very much for your time. Can I just say well done for you and well done Unite Community Branch because uh, I think it's um, a very good idea because it means a lot of young people coming into trade union membership, often unemployed, part-time work, students and so on, and they stay with the unions after that and it recreates that whole culture of a community of solidarity. It's a well-known united community. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Okay. Cheers.